Hi Golf Magic, uh, James Whittemore here at Wellingborough Golf Club and today I'm going to talk about just some basic fundamentals and uh, what we're going to really what we're going to cover here is grip and alignment so let's start with the grip first now this again believe it or not I see a lot of players and a lot of people that will come to me after uh, let's say 20 years of playing golf and their grip is all over the place but what they end up doing is you end up finding a way so you end up finding a way and you play with this sort of awkward looking grip um, because it, it can become functional but what I would say to that is before you get down to that point make, nail it first nail it first before you start really getting into golf make sure you've got your basics in so grip is one of them so first things first is what I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna talk about my so my glove hand is gonna go on the club first now what I'm trying to do here is if I'm just taking my grip on the club I'm just gonna pop this club down now so that is just gonna run kind of through my finger line slightly on the diagonal and it's gonna end up not in my palms because I see a lot of this when I get people to open up their hands they'll kind of do this and they'll be like right so that you can look like it can be on and I say open up your hand and bang and it's right in the palm what that's gonna do when I'm swinging the club that's just gonna move all over the place so if I can get it more in my finger line I've got way more control so I'm going to keep the club on, I'm going to pop that in there as you can see that's just running down the finger line there then I'm going to close my hand up so what I'm looking for probably at the bottom of the club, I'm just looking for probably half an inch just down from the butt end of the club once I've done that, I've got it in my finger line I'm then going to let my pad on my thumb on my grip thumb, it's going to sit over kind of on the right hand side of the golf club based on a right hander and just a little thing so like there's a little V line between the thumb and my first finger and that's going to point kind of straight up towards my chin so then as I, as I look down what I'm trying to look, look for really without kind of peeking over the corner or looking underneath this way so I just want to see kind of two, two and a half knuckles as I look down this is based on a very neutral grip okay so that's my first hand on, my second hand there's a few ways we can do this um, but I'm just going to pop it in the get it in my finger line first to begin with so again I'm going to make sure I'm not going to get it in here because again if I've got it in my palms I can move it all over the place I'm swinging at speed this is going to move all over the place so I'm going to make sure I get the club just kind of in my finger line there and then from here I'm going to bring my thumb covering the pad of my other thumb there and that's going to sit over on the left hand side of the grip and when that's on there now I've got a little V line between my thumb and my, and my first finger on my right hand and that's going to point straight up to my shoulder so finger line finger line over the top and if you feel like you're, it looks like that which is a end like C so it looks like you're covering the whole grip because your your arms are extending out just shorten your thumbs so just shorten your thumbs so again it keeps your hands nice and close together now what I've naturally done there, which I haven't spoke about because it's natural to me, is I've just gone straight in here. So I've gone straight in here, my little finger on my right hand, again being a right hander, is just hooked on the back of my first finger. So it's an overlapping grip. Okay, so there's three different types of grips we tend to see. We'll see the overlap, we'll see an interlocking grip. So again, my fingers will then come in together they do everything the same everything else is in the finger line I'll just kind of interlock my fingers there and then my hands are on and the last one is the baseball grip baseball grip being my hands are touching but there's no sort of locking of the fingers it's just kind of like they just slid on together to be honest I don't really mind any of them now you you see a lot of people they won't do this one the baseball because you don't feel like they're in control and that's fair enough but all I would say is that what we want to try and do is we want to try and keep these hands together so as I'm gripping the club like me I could say me kind of overlapping that as I'm swinging the golf club now I've got it in my finger line I just feel like I'm in control of the club I've got my hands on I'm not strangling it I don't need to strangle it because I've got it in my in kind of my finger line at the, at the top and I just feel in control of it the reason we don't have like these split grip or anything else like that is because if I'm swinging up then my hands kind of move around and then I create this separation and obviously we're trying to keep this club face from not going crazy so the more my hands split the more I can do kind of anything you know and then all the hockey shots can kick in and it can all go wrong so give ourselves the best chance following them simple tips for kind of keeping your grip nice and steady and again like I said that's very much based on a neutral grip Okay. Second thing is what we've got here. Once we've kind of got our grip on, 
and we're in kind of position is alignment now now again this is something that I really do see people struggle with right up until they're scratch golfers and, not, and that's not even an exaggeration it's true and sometimes we can just get a little bit lazy with it and get a bit lazy with alignment uh, other times it's perception people get used to aiming in a certain fashion because of the shape they hit they might hit a massive draw or a massive slice so for that reason they'll play for that and aim way left of target or way right of target depending on the shot they hit but let's just base this on you are you know starting from scratch or you're a newbie to the game and you're just looking for some basic tips so this is like these two alignment sticks I've got down here it's just simple simple thought process in the mind train tracks okay so train tracks so what I've got here is my feet line will run parallel to that target I've got down there that yellow like black and yellow post the club face club face is king club face goes bang behind the ball at the target so when my club base is at the target my feet will then naturally run parallel to that point hence the two sticks I've got here hence the two movements you know because again like, what I see a lot of is people will go in they'll get themselves set in here like so kind of get myself matched up I'm at the post with my feet oh yeah I'm on target now but if I was to look at that and stop for a second there now I would be yeah my feet are aiming at the target but my club face is now way right of it because again it's parallel lines and they haven't matched up so always remember that first go in with the club face first get that at the target then match your feet parallel to that line grips on and we're good to go if you follow them kind of them basic tips you give yourself the best chance of getting going when you're first starting out okay so those are my tips for grips and alignment uh, I'd love to know how you get on at the weekend so if you leave a comment um, and if you like what you saw, give it a like and let us know how you got on.